So what makes this organization unique in that despite it offering similar services to other similar organizations, in that the mindset, the heart, the starting point is that it comes from a regard of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the spirituality that is brought by Quran. Outreach programs, which is exactly what Islam has taught us to go and feed the poor, feed the hungry, uh, go to hospitals, be in social gatherings, uh, you know, we have tea gatherings, unity as you call it. You know, those are nice, those are wonderful ideas. Today we need these kinds of programs. Our Um, I am the secretary of the Muslim Women's Organization. The director of the Health and Fitness Organization called Nadina, which means call on us in Arabic and pronounce. We feel the same. Don't tell me it's by chance. Oh, you're my brother. You're my sister. We're one big family. The United Muslim Foundation uh, serves to fill an important vacuum and. Uh, a gap within the necessary organizations in the Muslim world to really establish this cohesiveness, this uh, proximity, this uh, uh, effort to bring together people uh, within the uh, Muslim world um, under this banner of unity. between us two we're part of one family no matter how far you are and even if and that makes me really happy you know we are together in all of this and we are representing peace peace activists MashaAllah, I'm so happy, so it's a wonderful job, keep it, do a good job. So. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. You well, I bless you. Thank Thanks you so much. Do it again. Inshallah. <laughs> so what did you like best about this event tonight? Uh, everything. Everything? From A to Z, it was all that really, very nice. Alhamdulillah, so you would like to see more of these kinds yeah, of events? Yeah, we will be more, inshallah, get involved and uh, we'd like to see more often. this. What did you think of the unity, the people it's from great. all the different mosques together? It's great and we just need more, more of it and more often of it, Inshallah. so we can get all of our kids Thank you so much for coming. Right. It was great, you know, best of all, you know, uh, I think uh, these kind of programs should be uh, held more often, uh, because there are certain groups in our society who do not, I mean, 
wants uh, these kind of programs, mm -hmm. but this is a clear message for them. You know, and everybody should join this kind of program. That's what I would say. Especially, it was really fun. I thought it was really, really creative. Um, I'm willing to join another one if you're gonna have any. The weakness about it is that I was amazed and I was thinking uh, over and over again that there's a lot of youth I found here, and uh, which apparently is a uh, rare, rare thing. You know, it's not a, not really a lot of time you see, but you guys have a lot of youth here. Shabir Kirmani, you're still young, you know, and then we normally go there and find 60, 70 years old people, you know. I thought we almost gave it up, you know, until today. Uh -huh. so it's <laughs> Thank you. Good so talking much. to you. Thank you. Yeah, really so appreciate it. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks so much. Appreciate it. all you guys. You got Malik Sab. Malik Sab, please. Thanks so much for coming out and making the event successful. We need more and of you. And you know, you have to be thankful to Mr. Yunus for giving you the event. I'm thankful to him. Thank you.